Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So I'm back in my office uh, after my little trip in Germany and we have to discuss a lot of things here after this uh, drop that we had here in the Bitcoin price. And before we start through all the time frames here in the Bitcoin price and also the comparison to the DXY to the US dollar index first an update to my sell signal because if you were following my last couple of videos you would have seen that i still was in a short position since the end of last week because here in my own indicator i had several sell signals and the last one here after being completely overbought played out and we have seen here a big waterfall towards our 11k target which right now is holding as a support but as you can also see here in my Bybit account, I'm not in a trade anymore. So I closed my short and currently I'm waiting here for a perfect buy or sell opportunity. So right now I am in no trade zone. So I think right now it is very risky to open and up a new trade. If you took the short here, if you listened to my last couple of sell signals, then congratulations if you are in profits right now. But I told you guys that this is going to be very hard to trade because one once we broke out here from this falling wedge, Bitcoin became very bullish also because on Ethereum we had here a massive spike here to the upside which took us up to our previous main resistance here of $490 dollars and on bitcoin we didn't see this move so here this is a good example why it is very important that we keep an eye here on bitcoin even though some of the altcoins especially ethereum sometimes are leading indicator where the price is going to but this is now a good example how sometimes this is not playing out so yesterday it looked like that ethereum was the leading indicator and that bitcoin most likely would have followed ethereum up to those levels up here which in bitcoin would have mean that we will potentially go up here towards twelve thousand eight hundred dollar but as you can see it didn't happen and my sell signal here was very accurate and if you would have followed here the sell signals on the way up here after the first signal appeared you would have done nice now but of course this was very hard to trade because we were very bullish and a lot of altcoins was spiking to the upside like crazy so after we had here the first sell signal you can see that we were far away to being overbought and this is also what i told you guys that we still have some room left to the upside even though already now we're getting a sell signal here in this possible resistance area here and i was expecting to reach immediately 11k the thing is that we broke out from this falling wedge and we have seen a spike to the upside. We didn't came to our target up here at around 12,300, maybe even up to 12,800. But we had here a breakout to the upside and we came up here to $12,000. And as you can see also here in my indicator, we had another spike up to very close overbought, but we didn't come into overbought condition. So this area right here at 11,700 is where I also added a little bit of shorts. But then when we had this drop here towards 11,500, I closed my short position. So I didn't close it right now when we had this big drop, I closed it already here. And then of course we had another leg up towards 12K and this is where we came into very overbought condition here in my own indicator. And after this sell signal, we have seen a big drop to the downside. Of course, we are still on our bullish way to the upside, but if you want to trade these pumps and dumps, especially with leverage here on Bybit or Femex, for example, then you have to watch also here the lower time frames. So for the long time frames, it's good to buy Bitcoin at any time, even now, because for the long term, you will be doing fine. But if you want to take advantage of these big pumps and dumps that we have very often, especially here in the crypto space, then this is a very useful tool where you can do a lot of gains trading with leverage like here on Bybit for example and Bybit and Femex are the exchanges that I recommend you the most. You find also all the links down below here in the video description if you want to open up an account on Bybit, Femex or BTR for example. Over there you don't need any KYC, nothing, just register with your email and you are done. And with my links you can get some bonus up to 538 
dollars so if you want to trade with leverage all the cryptos you want especially bitcoin then use the links that you find down below here in the video description and i always update you on discord or here on the youtube when i am in a trade or when i see a buy or sell signal but of course if you want to take advantage of this indicator and you want to see it 24 7 so if you want to see it your own compared to the dxy so compared to the us dollar index which is showing always the opposite from the bitcoin chart then you can sign up to my live stream over on discord you have to contact me with a private message on discord that you would like to see it 24 7 and therefore i need a donation of 0.01 bitcoin so you can watch this indicator 24 7 on discord so you can watch it your own and also trade it your own and i just need this 0.01 bitcoin for once and you can use it all the time as long as this youtube channel exists so this cost i just need to pay electricity internet and so on so if you're interested in watching this indicator 24 7 then contact me over on discord and right now we can start with our daily ta we can start here in the one hour time frame because Bitcoin after this massive dump that we have seen from 12,000 down to $11,000, you can see that currently the RSI is trading below the 50 level. So we are trading on the bearish side, although the 20 moving average is giving us a resistance, which currently is here at 11,380. I'm not gonna trade right now, so I'm not gonna short or long it right now. I'm also not gonna buy anything or sell anything because we still have our CME gap down here at $9,600. So as soon as this gap is gonna be filled, I gonna start to buy some more Bitcoin with my fiat that I have on the sideline. So with all the profits that I took out here in this 12K area, but I'm not gonna sell any Bitcoin right now because we can also easily continue here this bullish movement to the upside. So it's not over yet. We are still maintaining here this price level here above 11K. But I think as soon as we're gonna lose this $11,000, we will see very, very fast 10,500 and potentially also here this $9,600 area and also the retest and the gap filling of this area down here. So this is an old resistance, which now is support down here at around $9,600 and this is also where the CME gap is lining up. It is possible that first we're going up again. This is, this is of course possible, but I think sooner or later we will come down to fill this gap and also retest the old resistance, which right now could be the new support. So the one hour is looking like that in the next couple of hours, we're gonna see some more pushes to the downside, even though it is likely that we're gonna see also this 11,380 to $11,500 retest. Here the Bollinger Band is looking like that we're gonna overshooting it again to the downside. We have stochastic shifted to the downside, also MACD is quite flat here. And you can see that we also here trading in the lower part. So the one hour is still looking bearish. If we go over into the four hour time frame, you can see that currently we are fighting with the 200 moving average. If we're gonna close a four hour candle below, then prepare for another big leg down. So in that case, we could go again into extreme oversold condition here in the RSI. We're trading below the 50 level. And also my own indicator here is showing that we are coming down below here into oversold condition but we are still very far away from complete oversold. So also here you can see last time we were down here in this oversold condition, we had a nice bounce to the upside. Also here last time we were completely oversold in the four hour, you can see that afterwards we had a big leg up. But right now we are still at the beginning, so we are far away from being oversold and that's why I still think we have a lot of room left to the downside. So I think maybe with this move, it is clear that we will go potentially down to $10,500 or even down towards 9,600, especially if we're gonna lose this $11,000 here in the next couple of hours or days. And now we can also have a look into the Bollinger Band here in the four hour, because currently we are trading here on the bearish side. We had a retest of this first moving average here at 11,000. 470 and we got rejected already here and as you can see we're pushing now again to the downside stochastic is oversold so maybe here we're gonna see another bounce here in the next couple of hours but since we are now here trading in the bearish side and also the MACD is still shifted to the downside I'm expecting more pressure to the downside than to the 
upside and if we switch over into the daily time frame here also you can see that yesterday we closed again below the 20 daily moving average so the 20 daily moving average which right now is at 11,540 most likely is going to act now as a resistance and we're going to see some more pushes towards the 50 moving average here at 10,650 so at around our next bearish target of around 10,500 dollar RSI is also right at the 50 level so we are again in a very critical point and again we have to see here where we're going to close these daily candles because so far i think we have all too much pressure to the downside and we should expect here the price to come back down towards our bearish targets which for the big picture is not too bad but as i told you already in many videos this could be really the last opportunity to buy cheap bitcoin and also here in the Bollinger Band in the daily, you can see that now again we are trading in the lower area. We have here the stochastic in neutral condition, but also shifted to the downside, same as the MACD. So the MACD, once we had here a bearish cross, stayed here, shifted to the downside. And since then we have a lot of pressure here to the downside. And I'm expecting still to reach those price levels, even down towards $9,600 before we're gearing up for a big move to the upside and therefore we can now switch over into that weekly time frame because here you can clearly see that the 20 weekly moving average is here at ten thousand one hundred dollar this is also where i'm expecting the price to come down at least to retest this moving average because bitcoin likes to retest this moving average in the weekly always during a bull run so as long as we're trading above the 20 weekly everything is good for the long term even though we could even come down here towards the 50 weekly which is at eight thousand nine hundred dollar this is also possible to see 9k again because this is also where we have our cme gap here in the cme chart and if we switch over into the bitstamp chart you can see that also here after being very overbought here in the rsi currently we are dropping down and also the 20 weekly is here at exactly ten thousand dollars so it is very likely that we are coming down to those levels here in my own indicator i have a sell signal so if we're gonna close this week here in this area at around 11,000 or lower then i think this will initiate the bigger dump towards these price levels that we have here and the worst case scenario is that we are going down to retest the 200 weekly here at 6,600 dollar i don't think that we will go that low but at least down here to close also the cme gap that we have here at 9,600 dollar i think this is very very likely to come here in the next coming bigger correction that could potentially happen here in the next couple of days and weeks but overall for the long term if you're buying bitcoin for the next couple of years you should be doing fine but if you're waiting for the perfect long and buy opportunity then maybe wait till the cme gap is filled down here and if we go over into the Bollinger Band, you can also see here in the weekly that we have now this correction after completely overshooting it to the upside. And I still think we're going to reach here this 10,870, maybe even down here to $9,900. So the two moving averages here in the weekly before we're gearing up again for a big move to the upside we have stochastic also shifted to the downside macd is also looking toppy so this could be the beginning of a major correction to the downside but as i told you we are still in a bull market we are still on the way to the upside we can even drop down to nine thousand dollar so if you see big moves to the downside like this then this is a perfect buy or long opportunity and take advantage of these dips especially once we're gonna close the cme gap that we have down below at nine thousand six hundred so to wrap it up guys currently i'm not buying or selling i'm expecting a major correction but i already prepared myself up here with the fiat that i want to put back into bitcoin once we're gonna see this correction to the downside it doesn't have to happen right now but it can happen in the next couple of days or weeks so bitcoin could also have a big bounce to the upside even break 12,000 and go to the next level towards 14,000. But since we are starting here a major correction, I think it is very likely that we will see these price levels coming up pretty soon. And of course, next to the Bitcoin price, we also have to keep an eye on the DXY, on the US dollar index. Because I think Bitcoin is very inverse correlated to the DXY. And that's why we also have to always compare what the DXY is doing. And that's why in my own indicator, I always have the DXY compared to the Bitcoin price. So you can see if the buy or sell signals are relevant or not. 
because if we have a look here into the DXY, you can see that the weekly is showing exactly the opposite. Here it looks like that we're bottoming out and we're gonna see a big spike to the upside. Also, if you go over to the daily, you can see that we could have a potential breakout here to the upside from the 20 daily moving average, which so far gave us resistance. And if we go to the three hour time frame, that is the time frame where my indicator is working the best. You can also see that here we had a complete oversold buy signal. So once we entered here this complete oversold area, we had here this flash of this buy signal. And afterwards we started here the big run up here in the DXY and the opposite happened in the Bitcoin price. And that's why mixing up these two assets with my indicator is a very powerful tool to trade here, especially with leverage over on Bybit or Femix. And that's why, guys, if you're interested in this indicator, then contact me with a private message over on Discord if you want to see the stream 24 hour. So you can also just trade based on this indicator. But of course, you also have to do your own research as well because of course this is not a crystal ball but it will help you taking decisions if you want to go long or short and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to moon up the like subscribe here to the channel and if you're interested in leverage trading use the links that you find down below to all the exchanges that i recommend you here you can also get some bonus as well if you use my links and also feel free to join my twitch channel you find the link also down below here and of course our nice big trading chat over on discord so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next time Bye.